Justin, and I'd like to introduce you our CLI fans, the Carapeter Trainers, one at a time. On the left side is the eldest female South American to land to the end here. And according to our trainer, she is the pretty and Oh, Her name is Isis. Together with Trainer Wen and say hi. Uh, well, on the other side is the youngest female South American to land to the And that makes her the cutest. Oh, confident. Her <laughs> name is Isabel. Together with Trainer Eric. Say hello. Now let's continue. So guys, do you have any idea why they're called men or better put in marine mammals? Any idea? Do they have feathers? Oh, well, let's ask them. Hey ladies, do you have feathers? The answer is no. It is actually because of their front flippers, which are shaped like a bird's wings. See those? The term peanut pads may also be translated as you put them, since their flippers do them somewhat like wings. And in fact, they appear to be flying under water, they swim from place to place, right ladies? And you know what, they're often mistaken as seals because they look very much alike. But some differences between a seal and a sea lion is the fact that they have bigger front flippers. Because they can also turn their back flippers, something seals cannot do. As a result, they can walk upright while on land. Let's have a demonstration about a random class for our season. And uh, you know what? They have this long and flexible neck called flexible. Well, check these out. Wow, well, so flexible, right? They deserve another round of applause. You can see their body is covered with a thin coat of short coarse hair. And their whiskers have the sea lion's sense of touch. They can stay in their fibers, which make them sensitive. Wow. Nice one! Hey! <laughs> they may also use their whiskers to aid in navigation or to detect vibrations from rain to water. And their small legs and their ears give them a good sense of feeling both above and below the water surface. Sea lions like many marine mammals can see well both above and underwater. They have a keen eye sight but no color vision. It's a one seen to have in the waters below the shores. Black rock clips with tide pools and they have a preference for rocky beaches. They have excellent climbing abilities and can easily scale rocky cliffs. Who we'll checked it out? Truly a strong front flipper. Now let's talk about their swimming abilities and let's start with Isis. Sea lions generally cruise around 11 miles per hour using the rowing movements of their front flippers. While their back flippers are stretched out behind their bodies, functioning as rudders for steering. That is their normal swim. Nice and easy. Thank you so much, pretty Isis, for a wonderful time. But when chasing their prey or escaping from predators, they can achieve a burst with a bomb to 25 miles of Oh, nice guy, huh? Ah, uh, come on, another one! She deserves it! So here's an interesting story for you about the sea lions. Did you know that the U.S. Navy has trained a few of them to take part of their special operations? Yep, that's right. Three will tow their bad to to one a minute, and they can dive hundreds of feet. Abilities that even the best Navy divers will be ending up. And since you cannot be detected by radar underwater, they're taught to recognize and avoid underwater mines. All right, ladies, are you ready? Water, salute! <laughs> now, let's march. Ready, ho, two, three, four, ho, two, salute! Guys, could you please join our sea lion friends and a salute? In a count of three, everybody will salute. Now let's make this one loud, okay? So are you guys ready? Yes. Put the monkey on the crowd. Are you ready? Yes. Let's start counting. One, two, three, salute, everybody. Thank you so much. Well, sea lions 
Mr. Rossi used to search and recall her equipment from the water. H2O. So what do we have now? First, the ring. Guys, ladies, get those rings. I just got oh, so this is about ring job, ladies. How about a round of applause for your excellent job? See, they're asking for it. Who can? The balls. How do you think they get a balls? Well, it's a ball balance! Hey, yeah. ladies! Almost there. Ring and ball. Okay, let's do on now. You know what, guys? The Rapa Manila Ocean Park away. What? That's right, guys. Right? What is about to happen? What's that? She wants some fish. Give her. Okay, can I continue now? Okay. So, as I was saying, here at the Manila Ocean Park, we have six. At the market, see a lot of decisions. Hey, hey, come on, Lisa, she wants to say something. It's about the tail trainer. What's that? Uh huh, she said. We can get done in a one. But there is one more missing object. Are you sure about that, Isabel? She's pretty sure about that. Well, uh, let me ask Isis on the other side. Hey, Isis, is there one more? No more? I, wait, I'm gonna ask the audience to be there. Hey, guys! Is there one more missing object? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes? Oh, you made Isis so sad. No, good. Hey, wait, Sabel, what's that? Get that out. Okay. If there's only one more missing object, would you please tell Isis what that is? It's a... Come on! Are they right, Isabel? Oh, I think it's a mission for you to search for the missing toy. Come on! Oh, let's go, ladies! Come on, Abandonus! Time for Mission Impossible! Okay, now we've got to the part of the show where one of you will be able to meet Isis, the 
pretty yes of those selling and willing to volunteer. All you have to do is to raise your right hands. We're gonna choose one. We need an hands up the volunteer for this. Hands up. So while waiting for a lucky guess, in case you'd like to know, here at Manila Ocean Park, we have the six South American sea lions consisting of five females and only one man. Okay, here we go one. Hey, Lama Jenny. Alma, okay. Make your way to train our wins and ices. Come on. A round of applause for me, Alma. Now, me, Alma, is it your first time meeting a train to land a class? First time, huh? Huh? First time, Pop? Oh. <laughs> well, and if it is in line for the first time, first thing to do is to swim with them. Oh, swim with them. Okay, trainer Eric, uh, can you go to the edge, Miss Alma? And the trainer Eric will do a demo there at the side. Watch that. Come on, ready? One, two, three. Okay, you will jump into the pool just like that, Miss Alma. Okay? The count of three. Ready? One, two, three, jump! <laughs> jump left. A flipper shirt with ices is more appropriate. Hold oh, ice, a flipper. Look at the camera and smile. Ices, mm, smile. There you go. Okay, step aside. So here's a trigger for you. Did you know that the sea lines of 34 to 38, K90? Those. That is especially designed for grasping and tearing their food. However, they don't chew it. They swallow it all just like that. And ta -da, it's gone. How about for photos with ices? Hold ices a shoulder. To the camera once again. That was a nice profile picture for your account. Okay, so I think we're done. It's time to say goodbye to ices. I say, say goodbye. Sis, why not? Is there something else? Can you tell Trader one? Oh. Mmm, look at it, So, Miss Alma, before you leave, Isis loves to give you a goodbye. Kiss. This is a kiss. Oh, it is. And the kiss should be on the lips, of course. The lips, the lips, the lips. So it's a very easy, all you have to do, oh, fix your hair, put your hands at your back, lean forward, offer your lips for three lovely seconds. Oh. There you go, one, two, three, and it's a happy, satisfied sea lion. Have it on your chip. <laughs> offer your left chip. There you go, look at the camera, oh, that was so sweet. Good sport now, but a walkie shot. Holly and I is a flipper. Another hand in the air. Open your mouth. Walkie. Alright, we'll pass. We're over the weekends. Thank you so much for having me. Now go back to your seat and enjoy the rest of the show. Salam.